up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. How y'all doing, man? Last night was another great night of NCAA college basketball, but we had the women going at it. And I feel like a lot of people brackets is jacked up in that army. I'm going to keep it a buck. Y'all know my boy Flight Academy Kitch is from South Carolina. And since I've been knowing this guy, he's always been a diehard South Carolina Gamecock fan. Girls is dang near got to undertake a WrestleMania win streak, bro. Like, they going crazy See that they still in the tournament. So I'm going to go ahead and put my money on that, man. So, army, y'all let me know who y'all got winning NCAA men and women. Also, army, I want to talk about these air matches now i know air max day is past you know we in april now and mugs was going crazy now i'm gonna keep it a buck my boy jeff hit me up the other day even before air max day it was just like break you know i know you like your pe's and it wasn't even just jeff like y'all tried to warn me not even warn me y'all gave me a hands up like break we know you are oregon pe collector we know you collect pe's we, you ain't the biggest Air Max guy, but we still gonna, you know, send you this information. If you bite, you bite. If you don't, you don't. So me being a break, you know, I said, oh, okay, you know, y'all enjoy Air Max Day. Y'all have fun. And the whole day I kept seeing people talking about GOAT is doing something as far as Air Max Day. And Army, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Over the last years, I've never done this GOAT Black Friday stuff. You know, I've been seeing Goat do this for years. Even back when me and Goat was collabing, I mean, I'm taking it back back. I think me and Goat was collabing like, what, 2017, 2018? Like, I remember them doing like these Black Friday sweepstakes, but I just feel like those joints were never legit, you know, and that's just my opinion. I mean, we fast forward a couple days later, man, and I'm just seeing everybody so excited, especially like on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, that, you know, Muzz won these Air Maxes from Goat. And I'm just like, damn, bro, I feel like every time I don't participate in the stuff that I always feel like I ain't going to win ahead of time, I always see a lot of people winning. Talk to my boy Jeff. He was like, break. These were even, you know, sitting on go even after the pending. And I could have sworn army like the day of, like them joints were going maybe like 250 and now they're going like 450, 500. Like, were those joints like mad limited like that? Because over here and then I see this box. And I'm looking at the box that everybody talking about. I'm like, bro, this, this box look madly familiar, right? That's an Oregon's Go Duck IG page. And then they got it. It said, presenting the Nike Air Max 1 University of Oregon. Available exclusively on Go and proceeds benefit participating University of Oregon student athletes. Go Ducks. Shout out to everybody who did wind up picking those up. So let's go ahead and check this box arm now. Let's go ahead and open these joints up right quick, man. And I don't even know if I showed y'all these again. These been over in that corner since I got these. And it's the Air Jordan 14. Yeah, Army. It, it, still 99.9% .9 Jordan, man. But I don't even remember showing y'all these. I literally had to text Conceited like, bro, I forgot I even had these joints. I'm going to say this is the same box that the Air Maxes are coming in as well, Army. Some different. This was from the Fall 22 lineup, Army. So, again, I don't even remember if I showed y'all these. Now, remember, Oregon does have two other Air Jordan 14 PEs. Three Oregon joints with the embossed Dunks. Got the slightly more rare track pair of the Air Jordan 14 Oregon Ducks. We got the 2022 joints now. Now, Army, I like the OG joints better. When I text Khan, he actually liked these a lot better. And again, y'all, I completely forgot that I grabbed these joints. You got Oregon right here on the tongue of the right, Duck on the left, got the school logo. Jump, man, these joints is still clean, man. Booty backstroke motion like a mug on these joints right here. So again, if you did wind up getting the Air Maxes, congrats. Again, I heard them joints was mad limited. Here's the thing, I don't think nobody finds it that a Nike sponsor school is collaborating with a resale app. Times is changing. And again, I'm sure the university had to get clearance from Nike to do so. Now, we know Nike and StockX are not on the best of terms right now. For the most part, GOAT is StockX number one competition. And we know GOAT partnered with Foot Locker years ago. And Foot Locker is one of Nike's biggest umbrella companies. Do y'all not see what's going on here? I do think it's dope, though. That Nike is allowing GOAT to do this so that the average consumer can get a hold to some of these exclusive sneakers that only colleges and universities get. So I do applaud Nike for doing it. And it's crazy that I bring up the word competition today because for the first time, my daughter was watching some 
cartoon on Nickelodeon. I know the whole Nickelodeon stuff going on, but they had a StockX commercial on Nickelodeon today. First time I've ever seen or heard that, Army. I've seen the StockX commercials on like YouTube, but never on like national TV. So that's big. The same with Nike sponsored schools. One is going to TV with the commercials. They gonna get their voice heard regardless. Just imagine how many people had to download Go app just in order to get this. Cause even looking at the Go Duck page, you have the alum like, how do I get a pair? What do I gotta do? Download the app. So it's definitely dope marketing for both the university and for Go. In the comment section below, Army, let me know if you would've went with the Oregon Air Maxes or if you would've went with the Oregon Air Jordan 14s. And last but not least, Army, WrestleMania week is here. Yesterday, Complex aired their episode of Shopping with Complex, and it featured one of my top 10 favorite wrestlers of all time, maybe top five, Triple H. Now, there's been multiple wrestlers on Shopping with Complex, from Stone Cold, Undertaker, I wanna say CM Punk did it, but this time I seen Triple H, and Triple H actually went in there about something. You know, most of the wrestlers, when they get on Shopping with Complex, none of them really know anything about shoes. I'm just keeping it a buck. Now, they need to get some of the more younger cats on there, like my boy Montez Ford. He would be somebody good on there. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns did a Shopping with Complex episode as well. Get the Young Bucks from AEW. LA Knight got Concord 11 inspired wrestling boots. Like, get somebody that know they shoes. But long story short, Army, and I haven't did this in years. Years ago, Michael B. Jordan went shopping with Complex, and I forget what shoe was. It could have been like the Air Jordan 1 Shadows or the Lady May. It was some shoe, but he paid like $1,500 for it, and the sneaker community went crazy. I seen the things that Triple H bought yesterday. Now, before we go to this list, and y'all be like, oh, they got money, it don't matter. That's not the point. <laughs> That's not the point. Because I feel like all of us watching this video, some of these shoes, we look at them prices and be like, hey, that's too much. Y'all know, Army, I move shoes too. So at the end of the day, like, your price is your price. But bruh, let's start with the first one, because not all of them was bad. Air Jordan 4, SB Pine Green, 550. It depends on the size. If this was a size 10 and a half and up, he good. Now, I did hear that he said he was buying shoes for his family. Last I checked, Triple H was a girl dad. I want to say he got all girls and he got Stephanie McMahon. So, if this was a size 10 and below, I feel like he paid too much. But the thing is, these stores, they are brick and mortars. They got rent. Like, you got to put all that into perspective. So, regardless of the fact, knowing what shoe it is, SB Pine Greens, I feel like he okay with that 550 because again, 10 and up, 10 and a half and up, he would have been spending six, seven hundred dollars anyway on like StockX. But again, I think it was a smaller size. Those, okay. Seafoam fours, I always say four is equal 400. So again, I just need to see what sizes. We don't know none of the sizes. It wasn't like these were all his size. We can say these were a size 12 and we can go off of that. Seafoams, he probably paid too much for these two. But again, four is equal 400. I'll let that pass. Jordan 4 black canvas, same thing, 380. Again, if these are men's sizes, you can get away. Sneaker Con got sold these events. They probably charging $350, $400 for black canvases, all sizes. So again, the fours, I'm cool on those. These are somewhat okay. Military blacks, that 550, that's stiff. That's stiff. Let's look at Military Blacks right now, because I want to say, I don't think Military Blacks is up there as far as being a $550 shoe right now. Looking at the price of the Military for surprisingly small sizes cost more than the big sizes. So, I, I, I get, but then again, I mean, like $100 more, they probably can, they probably can survive with that too. Now, paying $600 for some PSGs, discrepancy can kind of go into play. Because I would have seen them charging more for the military than the PSG. That said, it still could potentially be fair. Again, we don't know the sizes. And I think that's what hurt things the most. Because if we knew again the sizes, then we can kind of pinpoint the prices a little bit better. But these last three, I think he got wrecked on. Especially these Air Jordan 1 black and white. Them joints like 120 right now. Y'all charge my man 275 That was the red flag. Paying 250 for some Nike Blazers. That's a red flag too. Them joints probably like 120 bucks as well. And them Travis Scotts, the Phantoms going anywhere from like seven to eight. He definitely paid maybe like two to three hundred dollars too much. Cause again, you gotta think these are stores, so they do got an overhead. So he wind up spending four thousand four hundred and seventy-two dollars 
The last three I think he got wrecked on, and I think the last three is probably shoes for him. The ones, the Travis Lowe's, and the Blazers, and I think the Fords is for his wife and his kids. So, all right, man, in the comment section below, y'all let me know if they played the game. Did they play the King of Kings and charge him way too much? I say, if anything, this probably could have been maybe like, he paid over 4000 It could have got him at like 3900 He probably would have been okay, but... Them last three, I definitely think he overpaid for those. I might even argue and say, break, he overpaid for everything, which is honestly true. But again, we know these stores got to add theirs on top. Now, the thing is, sometimes I hear that Complex throw them some bread. The store give them credit. Like, we all know the whole behind the scenes. So, with that being said, Army, comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about today's video, Army. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. If y'all want me to do any more Shopping on Complex reviews, y'all send me who y'all want me to talk about. And we can go over those prices, Army. Smash that thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army sent strong, like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And, of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit him breakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. He always old him first season. The most beefy looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nail.